Uh, you guys having fun so far, though? Like, good nights, good nights. I want you guys, like, I want to get like a round of applause starting with, like right here with Simone and these lovely ladies. I want to keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Round the bar, round the bar, round the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Zahn! Alrighty, I noticed the applause died before I got up here. <laughs> I got my hopes up and then just killed it. Alrighty. But uh, keep a, keep a hand going for uh, Jesse. Oh yeah! You gotta keep a hand going for a guy that makes it into a magazine, whether it be local, national, you gotta have respect for that guy. But um, I recently got a haircut, folks. Woo! Nice. Woo! Yeah! I went from looking like a 22-year-old scoundrel that lives at home to looking like a 40-year-old date rapist that lives at home. I'm going places in this world, people. And I think where I'm going to wind up is the basement. <laughs> not that I'm not already there. But um, I am happy to be here tonight. I'm happier than a uh, pedophile watching Nickelodeon. Oh, uh, too soon? Too soon, the Jerry Sandusky thing? Uh, I could have told a Jerry Sandusky joke easily, but I decided to be a little more default. <laughs> but um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, one of my hobbies outside of uh, pretty much everything else is uh, playing bingo. Anybody else like to play bingo? Three people, all right. I can see where this one's going. But um, anybody who's ever played bingo knows the uh, crowd that hangs out in bingo halls. About 70 to 80 year old women. Yeah, that's a fun crowd to be around. Never. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, uh, for anybody that knows, these, these old women take bingo seriously. This is like professional sports to them. But you get a young guy like me in there that starts winning, you know, they think I'm a little bit older again because of the haircut. But, uh, they get pissed because they're, you're taking their pill money from them, and you people know that old, old people get some good fucking pills. I don't do pills myself, but I know what they can get. But, uh, no, they get all pissed. They get <laughs> smoke starts shooting out of their tracheotomies and shit. Oh, uh, too soon again? What? <laughs> some, some kind of federal, like, smoking trial or something going on now that I'm not aware of? Fuck it, it's the U.S. government. Anything could be going on. But, uh, no, seriously, they get all pissed and shit. And that's the only time where I've heard a group of 20 to 30 old women just yell explicit of language simultaneously. <laughs> but it, it's like a chorus. But, no, they, they start hurling, like, fucking tennis balls off the bottom of their walkers and shit. <laughs> I think some of them used to be like fast pitch softball players and shit when they were younger and they still got the arms. But you're just like, whoa, what the fuck was that? As they like take out a window or something. I'm still working on ending that joke, so I kind of ended on that. Um, continuing on with uh, telling you a little bit about myself, I work in a drive through window, folks. Yeah, that's about the reaction it should get. But, uh, no, it's. <laughs> I, obviously, I know I'm fat, because I can tell y'all are looking at me like that. It's not just the shirt, people. But no, uh, bef before I started working in a drive through window, I thought the only thing that could be bigger than me was like, you know, the Goodyear blimp wearing Wranglers or something like that. <laughs> fat joke. Fat joke. Yes, that's what it But no, uh, seriously, like, even working in a drive through like, normally... I'm pretty fast-paced. I keep the uh, cars moving through. But one day, the, the drive-thru kind of came to a standstill, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on out there? Turns out they were shooting a Ford Taurus commercial on my drive-thru. <laughs> Anybody who was paying attention earlier would know. <laughs> yeah. But I, I see how that was. Jesse, do I have time for one more? Or um, am I out? One more. Just do a quick one. A quick one? <laughs> That's what she said. Alright, I don't think I can end on a better note than that, so I'm gonna get out of here.
this guy enough. Please give it up for the very funny Mr. Steve House, everybody. <laughs> oh, if only I could beat it, that's what she said. Fuck. <laughs> that's it. All this time spent writing? Fuck. Hey, a camera. Hey, it's silver. Weird. Uh, so, I'm here to clear up some uh, shit for Black History Month. There's a stereotype that black guys only like large white women. It's bullshit, uh, sort of. Um, <laughs> the thing about it is, right, the skinny white girls are boring. Ah, uh, you talk to them? I used to ride a horse. <laughs> Green tea is very interesting. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's just that, you know, the big, White girls, we have more in common. It's like a weed, Chinese food, talking shit. That was gonna be my Thursday night anyways. I'm bound to see some pink nipples while I'm at it. <laughs> Bonus. Yeah, um, I realized the other day that being a guy is rough. Uh, I mean, not with all the weird superiority things that are in place, uh, but with like, have you ever been uh, guys in the audience that are inebriated. Um, have you ever been in like a supermarket early in the morning and then like a, there's a girl there and she's like wearing a tight shirt and booty shorts and your mind hasn't switched on its humanity? <laughs> so you're just like, oh, I want that. Give me that. I want to grab that. Take that. Pinch that sucking fucking shit and fuck. And then you're like, oh, I'm here to get a Mother's Day card. <laughs> <sighs> That will fuck up your mind for a while. Because then you're just like, what is inside my brain and inside my soul? It's a savage. And that's what you got. You got savage DNA. Yeah. Diagnosed. Because, like, people are just, you know, educated primates. Send a gorilla to prep school. Person. <laughs> that's what you got. Uh, speaking of gorillas, I'm concerned for the future of racism. <laughs> White people have come such a long way, you guys are so progressive now, it's gonna keep going and it's gonna get racist again. <laughs> it's gonna, that's how it works. It's like an event horizon. Like, I'm thinking my kid's gonna grow up in an America where white people make fun of black people, the same way black people do. <laughs> it's a beautiful dream. <laughs> you gotta smash the angles, bro! He's there. <laughs> He's already there. Ah, oh, that black bastard's got more naps than, uh, that black bastard's hair's got more naps than a kindergarten. What? <laughs> amazing! Offensively amazing! <laughs> Beautiful dream. I realized the other day that, uh, the movie Predator is about the AIDS outbreak in the 80s. This is when I get my highbrow stuff, guys. <laughs> uh, I mean, what's it about? Four sweaty close dudes. Together, versus an unseen monster. Uh. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I mean, like, if you wanted to make a movie uh, where the monster is against dicks, have you seen the predator's face? It's like subconsciously a vagina. I don't know, maybe that's me. Sorry, that's weird. Uh, I'm sorry you guys had to hear that. <laughs> I don't know, the two black characters get it the worst. I'm saying, it's kind of like AIDS. Uh, I wish I had a bell. Uh, fun movie fact, if you watch American History X backwards, it becomes a cool revenge story. 
Just to be like, oh, dicks and women's suffrage, it's the same thing. <laughs> I'm just saying, just because you had a train ran on you does not make you Harriet Tubman. That's, that's all I'm saying. This table hates me. <laughs> Look, I want to make a response bumper sticker that says, How many dicks did Betsy Ross suck? I mean, it was 13, you know, one for each colony. You, Liz, I'm gone. <laughs> Steve, how's everybody? What you think about that? Yeah. Good job, girl. That's just what I say when I say things. Uh, your next comedian, and I say comedian yet again because we have another female coming up for the evening. Uh, this is her first time here at McCormick's. Please let her feel welcome. Give it up for Allison Rock! Hey everyone, hi. I'm so excited to be here because as a so-so looking white girl, I feel like the expectations are so low <laughs> that I can just kind of stand here and do whatever and be like maybe a quarter as funny as the five men and women that have been here ahead of me and you guys have been pretty pleased, right? Am I right? Yeah! <laughs> um, two things you need to know about me is I'm recently single and I work at a restaurant. Yes! And, that's <laughs> and the first thing, I'm going to go into working at a restaurant. I work at a famous Dave's barbecue, oh, yeah. but not the one down here, but the one in Chantilly. But I know there's one up here, and it's good ribs, it's good food. But as a waitress, we know every Sunday is the worst crowd you can get, period. You get no tips, the tips are awful, and they're coming straight from church. They're in their best Sunday attire, and you're like, what are, what, I don't know what this is. So I'm like, oh, what would Jesus do? Jesus would tip the fuck out of me. So I'm giving good service. Like your, your drinks are refilled, the sweet tea is like up there all the time, Arnold Palmer's, everything. He would, he would tip me. Granted, Jesus would order like one meal and turn it into like 25, but he would still tip good on <laughs> um, Also, working at a famous stage, it's a very family-oriented restaurant, so we have lots of like married, whatever, like all that stuff come in. And I just realized I don't want to get married ever, because like, it just seems like the women are like, ah, you're trapped, you're trapped. <laughs> I had this table a few weeks ago that was like, the man and the woman came in and the other kid, which was a cute little <laughs> young kid. But the, like, so the woman's like, can I have a sweet tea? And the man's like, can I have a Pepsi? And she's like, babe, babe, can you babe, maybe a Diet Pepsi tonight, babe? And he was like, yeah, Diet Pepsi, and I was like, oh, fuck, like, <laughs> that's a direct insult. And then the same woman later on was like, they were ordering, and she was like, I don't understand, like, what's beef brisket? And I was like, beef brisket, that's, um, I was like, it's like a smoked meat that we slice for you, I don't, and she was like, I, 
I don't understand. Let's be brisket. She was like, babe, like across the table to her husband. She was like, I fucking hate you. I'm drinking Diet Pepsi because he can't. And she was like, what? What is it? I don't. I don't get. And I was like, it's like smoked. It's um. I was like, the cut of the cow is like, if I was the cow, like this is where it's cut from. I don't. And she was like, I still. Don't, what do you mean? I don't, I don't, am I crazy? And I was like. No, like, I don't, it's just, it's a smoked meat, I'll bring you out a sample, like, it's just like, fuck this table, I can't, <laughs> period. And the next part, I'm going to talk about being single, because this sucks, but is awesome at the same time, I guess. <laughs> so for Valentine's Day, which is coming up next week, I feel like every single girl, period, is like, let's all go out, let's have a ladies night, let's just get drunk and eat nachos. And I'm like, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. As newly single, like, I'm like, do I want to hang out with you guys and be bitter about men? No. That sounds like the worst idea ever. Ever. But they can go do it. But I'm like, I'm probably going to stay home. Or, well, I'll go out to a bar alone to try to get laid. Or I'll stay home. McCormick! Or I'll stay home. <laughs> or I'll stay home and put me in the masturbate to Denzel Washington like a normal fucking girl. Yeah. And I had one more, let's see. Oh. <laughs> also as a single girl I've discovered in this day and age, I don't know how much time I've left, but like when you go home with a guy and hook up with him or whatever, you spend like maybe 50% of the time like hooking up and being into it. You spend the next 25% of the time being like, I really have to fart. <laughs> and you spend the next 25% of the time being like, I can't wait to get to my fucking car so I can fucking fart. <laughs> I have to fart so bad. And that's all. <laughs> that's all I have for you guys. <laughs> everybody. First time here, and Josh Blue Balls all standing next to me all creepy and shit after the nice girl just left the stage. What the fuck are you doing? That set was good. You were, out you were outside. Oh my god. Do you, are, do you need any more attention? Are you done? There's more attention to be had? Look at me. This is a stand-up comedy show. Like, obviously all of us need attention. <laughs> I'm so dead inside! Is this what improv is? Because if that's what improv is. Next week, Comedy Coalition, tomorrow night at 8.30, get on the Josh Blue Block. <laughs>